Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to ETS2. I've been really missing ETS2 the past few weeks. We have been waiting for 1.37 but it seems like it's going to be a bit delayed because of the current world situation. But that's fine. We have everything we need right here. I am going back to my number one favorite truck of all time, the Scania R4 series with Krishboom's V8 sounds for the 4 series. This is an absolute classic and with all else fails, I return to this one. I don't know, because probably I'm a, because I'm a 90s kid, so I really like the look of this truck. Makes me feel very 90s, all the knobs and switches. For me, it is the perfect balance between classic look with a slightly modern feel. Now, nowadays, I guess modern feel doesn't really give you, <laughs> it's not really any, doesn't really give you any modern feel, but still. And we have our friend right here, who we have to name. But yeah, I was uh, really missing ETS too, driving the roads in here, driving the European trucks, and especially driving this one. I know I've been getting a couple of different questions. Well, it's the same question from different guys to be more accurate. And uh, is he going? He is going. It's going reverse. He got a bit confused there. Let's give him some space. So I've gotten a lot of questions from different guys throughout the years asking what my favorite truck is. And without a doubt, this is it, the Scania R4 series. And yeah, it's nothing flashy actually. It's nothing high tech or too classic. It's a bit of a balance between all of them. But I just absolutely love the, the dashboard and the looks. It's very distinct, it's very unique. And now it's very vintage, I guess you could say, with how the times are modernizing. Compare this with the next-gen Scania. So when I missed ETS2, this is the number one thing I missed, this classic truck. Now, the sounds I'm using, the, the mod itself is not new. This is part of RJL Scania R uh, modifications. This is available in the Steam Workshop. Nothing new there, everything is in the mods list as always. Scania R by RJL includes the 4 series version, this one. I believe it started out as a, uh, as a private mod, if I remember correctly. And uh, someone leaked it, I think. So RJL was doing this for his own uh, enjoyment. And then someone, for some reason, got his hands on it. I'm not sure, maybe he shared it to someone. And that someone shared it across the net. And so when it uh, spread, he decided to just make it public. And uh, thankfully, it all turned out great because, man, now that we can drive this as uh, just as he can. But yeah, it's kind of R4 series. My absolute favorite. I don't know why, but it just gives me that vibe, you know. So as I mentioned, nothing is new here. All these mods, I'm not sure, maybe last updated months ago. But this is a classic setup that I go back time and time again. This is just timeless. To be completely accurate about it, let's change this one. Yeah, Digital speedo right there. And the sounds are from Krishboom. These are his V8 uh, 4 series sounds. This is not new as well. Nothing new here. But I go back time and time again to this kind of setup. There is like a crackle variant for this, but I chose the simpler one because the crackle variant seems to be more apt for the. What do you call it? The more pimped out versions, you know, when you have uh, lights and uh, roof bars and everything, light bars and uh, all the fancy chromey bits. That's the perfect uh, variant for the open pipe, but with this one that I have, 
very classic look. Oh, look at those skies, guys. Look at those lights. Beautiful sky. Let's take a photo here later. Uh, I'll take care of it later. <coughs> yeah, there's just really something different when driving here in ETS2. I sure which mods I have enabled I'm not sure if I have SIPS traffic density still enabled I think I disabled it but I'm seeing a lot of traffic in here so it might be still there but it's good I mean, frame rate is holding I didn't even share with you where we're driving huh? we started off in Prague Czech Republic in the hopes that we can knock at SES's door and uh, Maybe let them know that we are eagerly anticipating 1.37 for ETS2. I sure would like to hear those FMOD sounds for the default trucks. But I think they are very much hard at work, even if they are at their own homes, working from home. Because of the pandemic situation. But yeah, I think we... I think it will come hopefully within the next few weeks. I was actually expecting it since one or two weeks ago, but I don't know, it's, it's, I think it's been the longest beta ever, and it, I think it's a combination of them having a hard time with FMOD sounds, and uh, the feedback from the community has been very uh, negative in a way, uh, constructively negative, let's put it that way. So there is a lot of, uh, there are a lot of things to improve before it's ready. And um, whoop, right, people slowing down here. What the heck? Okay, one of those interesting AI merging skills or lack thereof, I think. <clears throat> That's okay. We're good. Oh, retarder still on. Yeah, I think it's a combination of the difficulties in the FMOD migration. I mean, our modders are really stepping it up. Krishboom, Rubinicus, they have come up with some amazing engine sounds using FMOD. So I think they are, I think it's safe to say they've mastered it already as, as fast as now, but the SCS output is still not quite there. Some cutting off sounds, some still some quirks there so I'm not sure if you can say the default new sounds are better than the old sounds I'm not sure if we're at that stage yet if and if we're not at that stage yet then I don't think that that can be released right? at the very least it has to be on par with the old sounds if it becomes worse then people will for sure rage on it rage rage quit maybe yeah, I think that's one of the reasons. Let's go and uh, get a little bit of retarder action in here. There we go. People are slowing down like crazy. Ah, because it's one of those junctions. Alright, looks like we are crossing over from Czech Republic to Poland. So yes, SES I don't think will be releasing anything anytime soon. But we'll just hang on to it. So I think they're still having difficulty with the sounds. But in addition, I think they're also affected by the, the virus situation. So when they work from home, they got a bit delayed even more so it's harder to coordinate and collaborate they're not used to this kind of setup so a little bit of adjustment is needed and all, of, all those things i think are contributing to the delays that we are experiencing because i think they, i'm not sure but maybe this has been the longest beta already and we're not even ets2 version has not even gone public yet so yeah very different from pre past betas i love those signs that is for sure pro mods country and uh, speaking of pro mods you guys might have seen it in the in the youtube world uh, some teasers have come out looks like pro mods 2.45 is coming out very soon i'm 
not sure if they're going to wait for 1.37. It seems like not. So you might have seen the the teaser videos. Both for promos 2.45 and for the Middle East add-on. Looking great. And they even had a convoy. The Pro Mods uh, people, Pro Mods staff, the Pro Mods team had a convoy on 1.35. Oh, I'm getting confused with the versioning now. 2.45, they had a convoy. It should be in YouTube if you look for it. Maybe, I don't know, keywords ETS2 Pro Mods 2.45 or 2.45 convoy. That lasts for 2 hours, so if you want a sneak peek on what's going to come with 2.45, then that's uh, one of those uh, things you can check out. I remember there are a couple of videos that have been released as well on the Pro Mods uh, YouTube page, showcasing some of the new areas. Oh, the, the textures here look amazing. I'm using Project Next Gen 2.0. Yeah, loving it in the alternative lines. So that they're not, uh, they don't look brand new. Amazing. Okay. So, but yes. Uh, so, 2.45 is uh, around the corner. Looks like. I and the the cool thing that I noticed is they actually implemented border crossing um, pop-ups. So you know how it is when you get these pop-ups. For example, in the in ATS when you're required to go through a way station. You get a pop-up like this with some message here. In the teaser, in one of the test drives in the Pro Mods uh, videos, they showed I don't know which which border that was. If that was from one country to another or one state to another in Poland or somewhere, I didn't quite uh, see the details. But they get border crossing pop-ups now. Like whenever you pass something, you get that info showing like flags on where on which border you've crossed something along those lines it looks very interesting like this is something that can be utilized uh, SCS has never done that before and I checked it with Plum uh, who is now part of the Pro Mods team and he confirmed that it is indeed uh, a new feature that Pro Mods is implementing this checkpoint, I don't know what you call it officially, but checkpoint pop-up, I would call it. But that's very cool. I mean, if they can do that for checkpoints, I wonder where else that can be used for. You know, the, and some people probably don't like that pop-up. And if you don't, then you can easily dis disable those pop-ups from the gameplay settings. That can be turned off. But if you're okay with that, or the occasional pop-ups that give meaningful information, then uh, that's going to be great. Because imagine that can be done for checkpoints, so you can clearly see when you cross from one country to another, or one state to another. That's nice. But I wonder if that can be used further for something else. If that can be used maybe for, I don't know, landmarks, you know? When you, for example, there is a famous landmark here on the left, like, I don't know, uh, in Poland, what is the famous landmark? Um, maybe the airport, you know, the, the international airport or... Uh, oh, don't, don't, don't make me think about it. Goldfish memory strikes. But some imagine some famous landmark that, that deserves to be highlighted. I wonder if it can be made that you get a pop-up or uh, something like uh, some info you know for tourism something that uh, highlights the area highlights the the piece of art that they have and i think that's going to be amazing because imagine all the hard work that our mothers are pouring into making the map making a specific for example, junction or specific airport, specific buildings. Speaking of airports, you see that plane just taking off? And I miss flying. <clears throat> Those fly soon enough. Hopefully within the week. Anyway, so imagine all that work that they're putting through and the drivers just pass through them like it's gone in a matter of seconds. 
and if you're busy talking like me <laughs> then it, there are chances when you might even miss those landmarks having those pop-ups could be very nice now it could easily be abused or uh, uh, overused I should say like it can be it can start to be annoying like it popping up every few seconds but I think for if it's uh, done wisely if the pop-ups are done uh, sparingly and only for the real major landmarks that can be something especially as uh, if I guess you guys are it would be very rare for someone to know all the landmarks in all the European countries you know uh, probably if you're from the UK then you know the stuff in the UK but if you go to France if you go to uh, I don't know Hungary if you go to Poland then you probably don't know maybe we just know the same as each other you know maybe we both are clueless in this area so it would be very nice to get some more info on it like to your right you are you will see the yada yada and then a little bit of info like a sentence or two or maybe even just an icon I don't know. just some text in there would be okay already I would really appreciate that because that makes the entire world much more real gives you a bit of trivia as well who doesn't like a bit of trivia right it's like being with a tour guide a, an, uh, like a GPS system but uh, with a tour guide add-on I like that but yeah, I'm not really familiar with how this... Uh, that was the number one feature that popped out to me. And I'm not sure how much that can be explored further. That pop-up system. If it's more complicated than I imagine. Maybe it's not as simple as just making things pop up. Maybe you have to, I don't know, maybe do something in the map editor. Make it a different sector. I have no idea. But it can be done, so maybe it can be utilized that way. You know, landmarks. I'm sure our map uh, makers can relate. All the hard work you put in through every tree, every bush, every piece of uh, how do they call those things bullards, bullions, or not bullion, bullion cubes, <laughs> bullards, I think every piece of those you have to put down every sign and when you are really proud of something you like you're proud of something you made and want to show it off with people when people drive through it it would be nice to be able to pop up something just to give them a bit more information about that specific thing you did and why you're so proud of it maybe a bit of trivia on how long it took you to make it or something a trivia about how uh, how that structure is in real life, what it is, what it's for, what it stands for, you know, those kinds of things. So I think it can be very, very interesting. I always wanted some kind of tour guide um, mechanic. And I remember when, uh, when uh, checking out Fernbus and uh, Fernbus recently released its France DLC. And we went to Paris. And we went to when we went to Paris, the famous landmarks are there, like the Louvre, the Eiffel Tower. You can see them in the map. And so you have an idea what you are approaching. Yeah, so if you look at the map often, you will have an idea. That's where we're going. Katowice. I hope I read it right. So from Prague to Katowice is the route we're taking today. But yes, that kind of landmark system would be amazing because it would make the world more relatable. Like right now, the roads are great. Everything looks real. I, I'm, I was never here in real life, so I wouldn't be able to know, but it looks real to me. But adding a bit more context into what I'm driving into, that's something I would definitely welcome. And I saw that initially in Fernbus. In the simple, like if you look at the map here, like for example the GPS, uh, in Fernbus they would have, for example, on the right, 
that landmark uh, just a small dot with the text on what it is you know those that simple thing and in ETS2 maybe that can also be done in the map uh, add a separate uh, icon I, I remember Promons has that already in some areas like in Iceland they have these like photo taking spots so you can see those icons when there's a significant landmark and when you go there ah this is nice the waterfalls and stuff like that and there's like a bit of info like a sign in there when you get there so there is a bit of indication but that that depends on the map author and most of the map doesn't have that so it's very needs to be customized but yeah that kind of thing I, I would really like because it's all about the exploration right if we're not getting the trucking elements just yet we'll have to wait for SES for that adding the uh, immersive trucking experience like I don't know uh, connecting the cables of your truck walking around your truck and connecting the cables uh, making sure everything is set and ready and safe those things our mod authors our modders cannot help they really have to wait for SES but the map markers that can be something and with the the new feature that pro mods has come up with i'm really surprised because ses themselves have not been able to do that yet so i didn't know it was technically possible to make a pop-up appear like that so i'm not sure if that was like a simple workaround that should not really be possible or if that's implemented but ses just didn't think of doing that before either way pro mods team made it possible and so i'm hoping that can be further expanded in the future for landmarks that is something i would really like to have <laughs> because if you're exploring areas that you have no idea what it's about what it uh, can offer then having those clues having that context will be amazing and it's going to be perfect because right now we are all uh, holed up in our homes no one can travel as much as we want to even if you have money even if you have the time you cannot because of the current situation so this is the best we can this is the next best thing right virtual traveling and every bit of context would help that's what i liked as well i remember seeing in microsoft flight simulator 2020 everybody is well many people are looking forward to it all the flight simmers are looking forward to it welcome all multiplayer users wow how about me how about the single player users <laughs> so that's probably from pro mods <clears throat> but yes um it would be in microsoft flight sim 2020 i saw a picture where like the landmarks are have those like dots because normally if you're if not familiar with an area you're flying over it imagine it you see some kind of interesting building from the ground it's like Ooh, that's cool what i wonder what that is and it, it would be nice if it would have like a dot there and that just a text saying okay apple hq or this airport you know those kinds of small things like you wouldn't have an idea what it was but you would see it was interesting and having those additional items like just markers you know of what you're passing through is already something oh and we have a detour perfect i should really turn that off okay now we have to think about this looks like the accident is right on the ramp so if you make a u-turn somehow we should be clear of it so we make a u-turn looks like it's asking us to go a completely different route oh that looks great Katowice okay not too bad 40 kilometers that's fine gives me more time to talk with you guys but yes that is something that I'm definitely looking forward to that um, checkpoint that land landmark system that pop-up thing because if we can't get more trucking elements in the game at least we can get more exploration elements if you get what i mean if our map makers can do and add more areas 
maybe they can also highlight more areas for us make the exploration part more immersive and if you're like me and you're craving for more trucking elements and we can't get it might as well get the next best thing because this game this simulator is trucking and exploring right, those are the two main things working with your truck and exploring different beautiful areas it's having those two or having one or the other would be great pro mods is already doing a fantastic job at that and uh, it's just it's just hard for clueless guys like me like when you're passing through something i wonder what that building is you know some 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 very specific buildings are done and for someone who lives there it would be the simplest thing like it would be like common knowledge but if you're an outsider and i guess many of us are driving through these european roads virtually are outsiders then it would be nice to get that additional information but yeah let's uh let's stop here wait for the traffic light and not try to ba buzz pass through it but yes first things first one step at a time let's uh, wait for pro mods 2.45 and uh, let's see what kind of new areas are included and let's see how this new checkpoint system is uh, added or how it is working and uh, maybe it can be expanded later on you'll see soon <clears throat> but if you have more info on that maybe you've watched more videos maybe you've uh, seen the trailers and uh, joined the convoy i'm sure they've been sharing a lot more information uh, unfortunately i haven't had the time to get into those Oops, my bad so let me know in the comments and let us have a discussion by the way guys i apologize in advance i might be a bit delayed in replying to the comments compared to usual i try to reply to all the comments as much as i can or at least acknowledge them but uh, youtube is bugging out and it's not notifying me of any comments like i'm getting zero notifications and i have to check manually in the video for the comments so i can only do it when i remember to check unlike before i always get notifications when anyone comments so i can reply immediately as much as i can so uh, please be patient and uh, don't take it personally okay it, i'm not ignoring you i'm just not seeing the messages the notifications this is where we park i see the marker now the indicators are not the best in this truck but I, I guess it's pretty true to life but yeah they're not just not as clicky as uh, uh, ASMR ish as the other trucks but I'm fine with that everything else is amazingly classically modern yeah modern probably doesn't fit anymore vintage I think <laughs> 90s vintage oh my goodness I feel so old That's our parking right there. Okay, just a short trip to get back into ETS2 a bit. But for sure, if Pro Mods decides to release their 2.45 version, we will check it out. And hopefully, an MP. Maybe we can do a convoy. So even if 1.37 is getting delayed. We can enjoy the new Pro Mods areas and maybe we can go on convoy on it. Because I'm sure Truckers MP would support that. That's a bit too much. It's fine, we can adjust easily like so. Amazing sounds from Krishpo. <clears throat> I 
everything just works. Awesome. Perfect. We have to name this guy. <laughs> he looks happy. Anyway, thank you for driving with me, for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed that short little video and hope you are liking this truck as much as I am. Absolute classic. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day. Clumsy trucking and catch you in the next one. Let's hope for more updates from Pro Mods and SES and all the other amazing modders out there. Clumsy trucking and bye-bye. See you in the next one.